Katie and Blake. Man, you guys have that new love glow. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank, you. You. Thank you. So how much of a relief is it to be able to celebrate your engagement openly, finally? I mean, it feels good. It feels like we can breathe, the weight's been lifted, and we can really start putting our relationship in the real world now. Super proud of her. I, I assume, I'm assuming she is with me, and we just want to show each other off and, like, go live, you know? And um, <laughs> it's been tough just, like, celebrating at our little happy couple weekends. And, um, yeah, it's been tough living through a phone. So now it's just real life, and it's what we've been waiting for. Yeah, I mean, so now that the cameras are off, uh, and you guys have gotten to know each other on a deeper level. What has that been like for each of you? It's been interesting because I think the first time we got to see each other since filming, it, it did feel weird because you're like, okay, it's just us. There's no cameras. There's no uh, producers or, or cast, you know, guys. It's just us. And so it felt a little awkward at first. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but in the months of our relationship and FaceTiming every day and, and working on our relationship, we are just completely a different couple now and so much stronger. And it, it feels very real. It feels very natural and exactly what I would want. Mm -hmm. So walk me back to that moment when you guys first said, I love you. Uh, was that nerve wracking? How are you feeling? I, uh, yeah, I, I was super nervous up until that point. Um, you know, I think part of it is not knowing if she's going to say it back and you know, you're walking to something that's like a 50, 50 rejection and nobody likes that. Um, but I think no matter no matter what and what the response was going to be is I needed to to get that out and let her know that and um, I'm just happy that it was reciprocated in that moment because it just made for an extra special night and um, it really lined up the rest of the journey for us. Yeah. And Katie, how about you? It's funny because he was so nervous and I remember whispering to him don't say anything you don't want to, because I didn't want him to feel pressured by me or forced into anything, you know, and so I truly thought he wasn't going to say it. And so when he did, I was actually like, oh my gosh. And so I was like so overwhelmed with emotion and happiness. And it just really did make for a special evening um, for us to both say it to each other. So Blake, you joined the season late. I think it was in the fourth episode, uh, but I want to go back further than that. So what did you think of Katie when you first saw her on Matt's season? <laughs> <laughs> I love what she was about because she was just open. She didn't come in um, closed off. She was open, which, you know, <laughs> not a lot of people can pull that off and then just run with it. And people were kind of on her in that episode. And she's just like having fun with it. Right. And I think that's one thing is people come on the show and they're so like uptight and need to be perfect. And she wasn't doing that. And I wasn't like that on my season prior. And I was like, I love that about her. Um, and so <laughs> that's what kind of clicked it off for me. And um, we've headed off ever since uh, that moment. And I knew it. And Katie, did Blake catch your eye when he was on Claire and Tasha's season? We actually talked about, uh, I went to his original DM that he sent and I, I left him on red. So uh, <laughs> in the moment, no, <laughs> not at all. He was a cute guy, but I just, never, I just didn't think twice about it in that moment. <laughs> That's so funny. So you left him on red and Blake, what did you think? Were you like, is this girl ever going to answer her DMs? <laughs> well, that's the thing, right? Yeah, that's why I was so like, I just threw it out the window is, is I, I gave her my DM just saying like, you're open, whatever. And she just like, ha ha, thanks. And left it on red. So I was, it's closed off. I'm like, okay, like I'm in her, but she's not having it. And I was like, but that's when I was like, I need to pull the trigger and just meet her in person because you can only do so much, so much through the phone, right? Like, yeah, it's so hard. So I was just like, if I just go meet her, maybe this will go a little bit different. And it, it did. did. <laughs> And so, Blake, was it a little tough for you to watch, you know, Katie with some of the other guys? Yeah, um, I would say um, from Andrew onward, when he went home, like those, you know, you start to see the relationships become serious. Yeah. And up to that point, I knew, you know, she had to, you know, see a lot of those relationships out. But when they got serious was when it was a little bit more uh, difficult. But at the same time, she really uh, prepped me for everything down to like every little sentence she pr potentially would have said what she felt. And so it was easy for me to be understanding and empathetic for her and what she was going through. Yeah. And then after that, it's just been super supportive and loving. So it's been easy. And Katie, I have to ask you about the after the rose ceremony. There was a, some, some heated words coming from you about Greg. Um, can you kind of, you, 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 yeah. you said that you felt that he was aligned to you about a lot of the reasons he was in the show. Can you talk more about that? Yeah, you know, in the moment with Greg, you you feel one way, and I was very sad and, and caught off guard and emotional. But then, you know, watching it back right before going on stage with, with Greg, I, I had a lot of anger and a lot of things I wanted to say to him. And really, that's what After the Final Rose is for, is to kind of 
say your piece and move forward. And that's really what Greg and I got to do. Uh, and people do need to realize that you can be happy in love and still stand up for yourself when you disagree with how someone treated you. Yeah. And Blake, I mean, how did you feel when, when you saw Katie's reaction? She almost left the show entirely when Greg left. So what was going through your mind? Yeah, you know, it's, again, I put myself in a place of understanding. So, you know, I came in onto the show very confident. I even to this day, I came on thinking I was number one when I when I met her and we had that amazing one-on-one -on -one the first day. That never wavered. I never had any doubts. And so when I look at back, I, you know, Michael left, Greg left. She's probably trying to salvage the season. Like, I just was trying to be understanding. What would I have said? What would I have done? And um, that was the number one thing for me. So um, I just have zero doubts. I continue to not have any. And it's it's been great since. So now that you guys have gotten to spend some more time together, what are some quirks about each other? The likes, the dislikes, everything in between that kind of surprised you? Well, my favorite thing to share, because I've never met anyone who does this, he refuses to watch a winter movie in the summer. So if there's <laughs> snow in the movie, he will not watch no, it. I can't, oh. I can't, can't do that. You're a seasonal <laughs> movie guy. I get it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, for her? Um, she can she's very like nurturing like a mother but she likes like state the obvious with things that she really <laughs> like like she's very um <laughs> she's buggered, she's like i'm a grown man like yeah. <laughs> she's just very nurturing and so she has some motherly characteristics which is which is great but there's sometimes i tease her and i'm like i know honey uh, <laughs> <laughs> well she's prepping i mean it's, speaking of, of yeah. motherhood um are kids mm -hmm. something that you guys where does that fit in to your future as a couple yeah i'm I mean, we've talked about it. Yep. Um, we have many views. You know, we've talked about whether we want our own children, um, possibly adopting, but also with how the planet is in the moment. Do we want to contribute to the the suffering of the earth and bring more children into the world? So we're really just kind of open to everything right now. Um, nothing is closed off and we're not in a rush to make mm -hmm. a decision on any of those. Yeah. I don't even know how to ask this next question, but um, 46 times? <laughs> <laughs> we'll just start there. In and around there. In and around there. I mean, it's like, you know, you're like newlyweds in a way, and you got to make up for some lost time. And there's only so much you can do in these happy couple weekends. You know what I mean? So, um, in, in a, in a we time got, we found a way to get long? busy. Um, it's been like, it's been um, three months since filming. Yeah. Yeah. So we only get to see each other like, I don't know, three days every couple weeks, basically. So. And we make up take advantage it. of that. Yep, yep. Yeah. I, <laughs> I love it. So, okay, uh, what happens now? Wedding planning, house hunting. You guys live in two different countries, yes? Yes. So, um, Katie's moving to San Diego September 1st. Um, I still have my roots in, in Canada near Toronto. So, um, I don't think we're going to choose one solid anchor. I'm going to probably go visit for a month at a time. She'll probably come up and visit me for periods of time. It's nice. And then, obviously with with Africa too we're going to be going up there and as much as I can get her involved out there that I'm going to and uh, I know that she wants to so we have a great three places to kind of jump from and uh life's an adventure and that so we're all for that and have you set a date for the the actual wedding yet <laughs> no people realize that we are in different countries and with COVID and citizenship there's a lot of uh, obstacles I think we have to go through first before we can even consider a a wedding date, a wedding venue, anything like that. Yeah. All right, so Michelle is our next bachelorette. Katie, as you are the outgoing, do you have any words of wisdom for Michelle? Yes, I did tell Michelle to just stay open. You know, don't don't pick someone so early. Really take the time to get to know each and every guy as an individual because I think uh, she'd be surprised who she might actually connect with. Yeah. And who do you think should be the next bachelor? I'll ask that to each of you. I, my vote is Andrew, actually. I think he is so deserving, and I think he'd be a great bachelor, and America would be rooting for him. Yeah, I would say the same. He was one guy, aside from Brent, that I really got to know well on the show, and uh, he'll he'll make for an awesome bachelor, for oh sure. My God. Katie, let me see that ring. Let me see the rock. <laughs> Woo! You can see it from space. I love that. Love it. Congratulations, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.